Yo, you see that? Salvation Army. Why does it feel so light? I think we might pick this up. So this isn't a controller. I think it might be a light or something, but it's four bucks. So we're gonna take it home and figure it out. Here's something you don't see every day. A Pepsi airplane. How you been? Chilling, chilling. How's baby girl? Good. How's your daughter? Good, big, and it's weird. It's like overnight growth spurt or something. It's, oh yeah, it tripped me out. Yeah, it definitely happens. I literally bought her shoes one weekend, not even a week later. Like she was complaining they were too tight, and I was like, I'm What's this? We got a stack and we got a watch. We'll go over everything back at the crib. This has been a crazy busy week. It's pretty late right now, so excuse the voice. I am actually very tired, but I'm sure a lot of you can relate to wanting to play a video game but not having the time because of work or life or whatever. So, so, uh, so, I should probably go to bed. Today I got a text message on my phone from Macari telling me that your package has been delivered and I don't remember ordering anything. I'm sure it was something I ordered last weekend but completely forgot about. So I don't know what's in this. 
I figure I'd open this on camera and get a real reaction as to what game this is. I could tell by the size of the packaging that it is a Switch game. So let me see what we ordered. Okay. Mystery continues. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna show it to you before I look at it myself. Is it something good? Something good? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, this don't really look like new packaging. Yeah, that packaging is kind of suspect, bruh. This was supposed to be. This is a uh, brand new. Hmm. Don't know about that. Skull Girl Second Edition for the Nintendo Switch. Saw this on a countdown of like top fighting games for the Switch, and added it to the list. And now we can scratch it off the list. I gotta check Macari to see how much we pay for this. But yeah, man. I'm excited about this one. It said it's brand new, I believe, when I ordered it. But man, this don't this wrapping looks horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Uh, you know the thing about Macari is that you have to approve it. So I gotta go ahead and be like, yeah, I got it. I could open it up and check it out, but I think I'm gonna keep it sealed for a little bit and just hope that the game is actually in here. While I'm standing here, let me show you what else I picked up recently. This was another one that I picked up on Macari. Man, my voice is shot. Let me get some water. Yeah, that that didn't help anything. <laughs> Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy. This one is also brand new. This was on the list, and now we can go ahead and scratch this one off the list. Another one that we picked up on Macari and i don't remember the price but we will double check real quick check this out i don't know if you can see this but the seal on this one is crisp the seal on this one i mean it doesn't even compare <sighs> it doesn't matter right because i'm going to open them but it does matter because This isn't even in here. Where the hell is this game? Hold on a second. Found it in my Switch case. Super Mario RPG. This was another one that we picked up from Macari. It recently got rid of seller fees. But I swear, the buyer fee is crazy. I've only played about maybe 30 minutes of this one just to check it out. I will dive into this one sooner or later, but for right now, I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. Three new games added to the Nintendo Switch collection, Super Mario RPG, Skull Girl Second Encore, Ace Attorney Trilogy. I need to take some time off from buying these things and take some time to actually play these things. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Matter of fact, bro, seal's already busted anyway. We might as well throw this, in the, throw this in the switch and see what it's hitting for. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice art. Look at that. Clean. Let me show this to you real quick. This one has no inserts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Fully voiced story in both English and Japanese. 14 different fighters battle it out in hand animated 2D action. Intense combos and blockbusters. Robust training and challenge modes. I'm about to put this in right now. Let me check this game out. Matter of fact, let me pause this. I'm gonna check this out. We'll double back in a minute. Oh, oh, what? His head is gone. Oh, nice. 
Her head on the ground, bro. This shit is. This girl's head is on the ground. Bro, I don't know why this is. She still is no hit. There it is. I see it. It's, it's like she's trying to get back to it, though. To live by. That takes care of that. Why worry about my God. <laughs> the live Germans have forgotten this. And your boss, watch it. We are back in the game room checking out what we picked up on this pawn shop run. But before we do that, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and turn on the bell for notifications. I don't know when this next one's gonna drop, but I can promise you it's gonna be completely at random. There's, there's no set time to this. I drop them when I drop them. So make sure that you're subscribing to the channel and make sure again you have on that bell for notifications so you get notified when the new videos drop. All right, let's check out what we picked up from the pawn shop. Starting with something that we don't usually pick up, an Xbox game. This is Quantum Break for the Xbox One. It does say that it is a console exclusive. That's the only reason why I picked it up because I saw that. Now, what I noticed is that it includes extra content and that extra content is an actual full game download of Alan Wake. So I don't know if that's a voucher, maybe a code you had to redeem, but there's nothing in here but the disc. So yeah, don't pick up a lot of Xbox One games. Typically if I do, it's just to sell them. But this one said it's an exclusive, so I figured why not. Taking a look at the PlayStation games we picked up. For the PS5, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We do have this in the collection already. We picked this one up just to flip. I don't have it on me, but I picked up all of these games that I'm showing you and a Apple Watch Series 7. And I paid 143 bucks for everything. So, and the watch was like 106. So yeah, we didn't spend a lot for these games. And this one, I do believe goes for like 25 or 30 bucks. So we can sell that, excuse me, we will sell this and make some money back. Here are a few games that we don't have as part of the collection that we're gonna go ahead and, and add. Mirror's Edge Catalyst for the PS4. Look at that big pretty GameStop sticker. ATV Renegades. ATV Racing. Yeah, this is one that I will not be playing anytime soon. But with us collected for the PS4 and PS5 and Switch, I haven't seen that one. I know it's not a part of the collection. It's not on the list, but it's dirt cheap. So <laughs> we just went with it. This game, however, is on the list little nightmares the case is kind of beat up and i really thought that i had the case for this game because <sighs> i've been searching for little nightmares but just the game to fill the empty case i have but the case that i have is for little nightmares complete edition let me show it to you real quick this is the case that i have which is so clean this one is not. I'm really thinking about just putting the game in here as a placeholder until I come across this game because this, this case is just beat. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. This is gonna drive somebody crazy. Can't put a game in case. There's not the correct 
Keish, Big Dick, man. Leave it in the comments. So that I can ignore it. <laughs> Minecraft Season 2 Story Mode. Is that how you read that? Nah, I think you read it as Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. Yeah, that's it. This one is not a part of the collection. But we're going to go ahead and likely keep this one. Again, I'm just trying to collect, man. At some point, I'm sure I'll, I'll end up selling this. Um, but in the meantime, probably do a little case swap, clean this up, put it on the shelf. I think it goes for like 25 bucks, too. These Minecraft games are a good one to be on the lookout for. Um, I find them often on Xbox, and when I do, they sell... They sell quickly and they sell for a good price too. This one unfortunately did not have the case, but we have The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt for the PS4. We picked up Neo. Uh, looks like it's complete with the insert. Not one that I'm looking forward to playing, but it is one that I am happy to add to the collection, especially a really clean copy. Pawn shops can be hit and miss. So when I find a clean copy like this, it's nice to pick up no matter what the game is. Bioshock the Collection. I go to this pawn shop often and sometimes I come across the case and they don't have the game for whatever reason. So I always ask them if I can have the case and they say sure. And then I go back and then we find the game. So we added both discs of Bioshock Collection to the collection. That almost stumped, like, that almost completely threw me off. <laughs> Both disc of Bioshock, the collection, now a part of the collection. Yeah, this was going for $16.50 at Bookman's. Is that the date? 6-13-2020 for $16.50. Don't know what it goes for now. Well, now I know because I just put it on the screen. But it was one for sixteen fifty at some point. Let me do math. <sighs> Twenty-seven bucks. Is that right? No, that's not right. Thirty-seven bucks. Yeah. Yeah, thirty-seven bucks. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games for 37 bucks. I mean, that's a pretty solid bundle. <laughs> that's a W, man. That is a win. Oh, let me show you what else I found. Found this at the Salvation Army. Yeah, I believe it was the Salvation Army. And it's four bucks. I thought it was... A controller when I saw it then I realized well nah it's too light for that but it turns out that it is a clock PlayStation controller clock PS4 controller right yeah PS4 controller clock four bucks something cool to put on the desk so that's what we picked up eight games for $37. Not bad, man. Not bad at all. I'm confident that after we sell Ratchet and Clank, um, we'll get at least 25 of that back. So, yeah, man. That's a, that's a good win. I'm gonna add the other seven um, to the collection. That Quantum Break for the Xbox One, I don't know when I would ever play that. But, I guess that's true for all of these. That's true for all of these. If I had to pick one out of this bunch to say I was gonna play. Dog, I'm not gonna play any of these. <laughs> I'm not gonna play a single one of these games. Not one of these games. I'm gonna play something on the Switch probably. Yeah, that Skull Girls is crazy. I'm gonna have to get back into that. And... Um, what was it? Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney? 
Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Yeah, I gotta check that out at some point too. Soon, very soon. But that's it, man. I don't think we have anything else to talk about. I'm going to bed. No. Yeah, I'm going to bed. It's gonna do it for this week. Thank you for taking the time out to watch. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoy the video and turn on the bell for notifications. Until next time, gone.